gotta do this video before it gets dark welcome to my channel my name is Julia and I've been on a short break so I'm back thank you everybody for sticking around I gotta tell you I'm super eager to get back one of the things I discovered taking a break from YouTube was how much I enjoy doing YouTube it's very fulfilling and the first thing that happened when I took a break was man I got kind of depressed for like a day or two you know I was like Man, a lot of you, if you don't have a channel, you might not realize just how much time and effort it takes, which is, of course, one of the reasons I needed to take a break, because I needed to focus on sewing and sort of build up some more stuff. And I did make some stuff, and I'll show you at the end of this video. So I did get in a lot more sewing, but overall, it didn't really feel like a break. At first, I was like, well, what do I do when I'm not sewing now? Like, it's too hot to crochet, my hands hurt, or whatever. And all he wanted to do was make a make a video. One of the things I would like to say about my channel, and I've talked about this before, is this is not really um, your typical van life channel in that it's not really a, a vlog about my life from day to day, you know, all about me type van life. I did that for a lot of years, and it's just something I'm not so interested in doing. There's also a, a security issue for me in terms of just showing my everyday life on a regular basis. If you've come to my channel for van life, or through van life, through Bob Wells, um, yes, I'm Julia, I live in a van, so that's a part of my story here. But I do like going broader on different topics, and I like to talk about things that relate to van life. And a little bit of a fair warning that um, as crazy of a person as I am living in a van, I also have crazy ideas and my own strong opinions about things. And I like to talk about those sometimes. So I hope you'll enjoy it. And again, I appreciate you sticking around during this very short break because I really cannot stay away from it. Also, my numbers are dropping incredibly fast and I don't wanna lose all of the hard work that I've already put in. You know, I'm super, super dedicated to this YouTube thing. I've been doing it a long time, like six years, and I didn't start with any grand intent of any kind other than just to document me jumping in that van and going down the road, and, and that was cool. But I am now just really committed to growing this channel and keeping it into the future. And I really like the idea of creating wonderful videos that are fun content and carry some kind of message with them and have fun visuals and great music and all of that. To me, creating these videos has turned into an art project. And it, I just get really, really into it. It's so super fun. And so I'm really committed to having a YouTube channel, growing my YouTube channel, and being around for long enough to be successful with my YouTube channel. I'm just committed to it. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. Rawr. What you have to have is a viable dream, a lot of passion, and a lot of hard work. And if you can do that, I mean, I really believe in the power of passion because the only way you're going to do a YouTube channel long enough to be successful if you're doing something you really love. And so that's why I'm really here is because making these videos is the bomb. And even though it's really frustrating sometimes, it takes a lot of work. All I know is I'm going with my passion and I want to keep making videos for you. So I hope you enjoy them. I also want to say thank you to my patrons for continuing to be patrons through this break. You guys are totally awesome. And for those of you that aren't patrons, you missed a lot of content that came out on that site while I was gone from this site. And there'll be continued additional content there and very often more everyday van life stuff so if you want to join my patreon site and support this channel as well as get extra content over there please check it out in the description below couple little updates for you real quick here i received a gift thank you so much these are natural herbal teas and it's funny because I've been thinking, you know, I really need to incorporate tea into my drinks because I like to drink coffee. And I was going to buy some tea recently. It was really nice to receive this today. So thank you very much. And the person wrote me a note, just a little something to help get you happy as you travel on down the road. Blessings from Taos Mountain. And that leads me to my next update. I have to say, 
at this point, the likelihood of going on dead tour has become rather scant. It's kind of a bummer because I really wanted to go on dead tour and have like this series of shows type of experience. But when I look at what's happening, it doesn't seem to be possible for several reasons. One, the shows in Colorado, which would have been my first part of the tour, are in October and it is cold in Colorado. I'm going to be driving in snow in the mountains. That's not something I'm willing to do for an entirely sold out set of shows that I'm very unlikely to get into. So I could go all the way to Southern California and then drive over to the Phoenix show in Arizona instead of coming around from this side from Colorado. But that seems kind of ridiculous to drive all the way to Phoenix for one show and then drive all the way back because in the day or two is the next show in San Diego. That show in San Diego is one of the few that's not sold out. The shows after that in LA, not only are they sold out and it's LA, it's Halloween. I didn't even realize those shows are Halloween. Halloween is not really a set of shows that I can bring my van with a dog in it to because it's gonna be fireworks. These big shows, New Year's, Halloween, stuff like that, they're out of control, crazy shows. They're more expensive, people are more crazy. That's not really what I had in mind when I thought of going on dead tour. So Colorado seems to be cut out. Phoenix doesn't make sense. There's a show in San Diego and then three shows in LA that I can't go to. So the other issue is COVID. So obviously more is going on with that. The different concert halls may initiate new rules, stricter rules in terms of who can come in, who is vaccinated or wearing a mask, so you have to have proof or not proof, where you tested recently, all of these things are in flux. So that that is another little glitch in the in the dead matrix there. With the COVID coming up more and all of these people gathering together, it does make me feel a little bit uh, less safe about that. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. And there's not really that much I can do about it. All right, everyone, I'm gonna show you now what I made sewing in the last couple of weeks. You can always check my store, California Patchwork on Etsy. And the selection is always being updated and always changing. So I hope you'll find something that you like. And don't forget, if you're a Patreon at the $9.99 a month level, you do get a 10% discount off of any and all items. So I'm just gonna get back to making fun videos now. See you later. <laughs> Bye.